Setting the machine up is really simple. You basically, um, at here we've got some standard treatment trays that we supply on our website. Um, got the control panel, got the, the, the power leads, the, the color coded electrode cables, and the, the electrodes that you use for hands and feet treatments. It's really quite simple. If you don't have these, you can just use the carry case, they double as treatment trays anyway. What you want to do is just literally, everything's color coded, you plug them in. Really quite simple. Everything's color coded on the back of the machine as well. Okay, you're just going to put some water in here, some just standard tap water. Depending on, if you're on hospital, you'll probably get dis plastic distance grids. Um, if you're buying a kit for home use, you'll get one of these towels. Doesn't really matter, it makes no difference to the outcome of the treatment. Basically, all it's there to do is to stop direct skin to metal contact. That's the only reason that they're there. Uh, you're going to pour in some warm tap water, um, and then when you're ready to go, place your hands or feet inside the trays. The machine will register that the circuit's closed. It will do its skin conductance test, make sure everything's okay and with the safe, you know, set parameters, and it'll automatically start to deliver your current. If you need to, if you need to answer the phone, you can take your hands out. There's circuitry in there that will protect you from getting a static shock. Put your hands back in. It will remember where you were, what power settings you had. Um, and resume there from the same time to stop any sort of over treatment. Importantly, if you've got jewellery, you'll want to remove it. If you've got any cuts, ideally you want them to heal. Um, but if you have got small breaks around the fingernails, for example, they can be covered with Vaseline and just to help you sort of go on with the treatment. If you don't, what will happen is the current will take the path of least resistance, and that will be your broken skin. Um, and it can be you know it can be painful, it can blister, um, and cause you problems with sort of ongoing treatment. What we recommend is that you perform a daily 15 minute session. Um, if, you, if you're wet, if you, you know, you're know you not in maintenance stage, if you're wet or you're starting, to, uh, starting on antifreezes for the first time, do a daily 15 minute session. Just just keep an eye, make sure that your, your, the surface of your skin isn't getting too dry, isn't getting too ir irritated. You can always use current care moisturiser or something like that to, to keep it in good condition, keep it supple. Um, and you do that daily 15 minutes and after around seven to 10 days, most people will respond and they'll, they'll see you know some kind of improvement at that point you can then sort of gradually uh, reduce the frequency of your treatments to get into what we call the maintenance stages where you're just basically doing a top-up treatment to keep keep the, the sweating at bay if you stop the treatments altogether sweat will return to pre-treatment levels um, so it's not having a permanent effect on the body but it is a really effective way um, of, of stopping sweat and, and controlling the, the condition